Not only is this a multi-food buying station, this is a legitimately buy anything station. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today we've got some new and updated mods for Farming Simulator 22 and 19 to take a look at. For FS22, we have 15 mods for all platforms. We have five new PC Mac. We have 10 new. And for Farming Simulator 19, we got three mods for all platforms. We have one update. At PC Mac, we got one new and one update. If you like videos like this or just want to see more Farm Sim 22 stuff in general, drop a like. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss daily Farm Sim videos here on the channel. Well, out of the way, let's get right into it. First up today, new mods for all platforms in FS22, the multi-fruit buying station from 82 Studio. Oh man, I'm so excited about this mod. So this makes uh, basically everything, all base game crops and grains, all base game liquids, and all base production products. However, the thing is, there's nothing that can actually get out of here like flour or clothes. You can even buy furniture out of this thing as well. I'm not kidding. The thing is, you don't have anything to put those in. So technically, it's not usable right now. Maybe a little bit of a fun thing right there. Uh, cough, cough, stay tuned to the channel. That's all I could say. Let's go in here. Let's take a look at a few things. This will make really, really easy. Plus, <laughs> look at the top screen. We're going to test a few things with this bad boy. Come under it. So we got wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, olives, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar beet cut. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys have been looking for that. That's how you do it. Sugar cane, seeds, TMR, forage, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, snow. You can buy snow out of here. Road salt, lime, pig food, stones, manure, solid fertilizer, and back to wheat. That's a lot of stuff. That's a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can buy fuel or not, but I'm gonna try that here. Uh, doesn't look like we're able to buy it at least into the tractor, but mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe you can with a few other things. Anyway, the point is anything. Basically anything except for, I think it's the vehicle electric charge. I don't think you can buy that here, but you can pretty much buy everything else. Let's take a look at this piece right here. We'll come up to it. We'll load herbicide, water, milk, and liquid fertilizer. So we could do all of that as well. I also want to test and see how fast this thing goes. I'm assuming it goes pretty darn quick, but uh, we will have to wait and see. Here is a slurry tank. You know, maybe we'll try it out with this. I assume we'll be able to buy slurry and digestate. Now you can't put things in that, well, it can't hold. So for this, slurry and digestate is all it can hold. So we're gonna load up a slurry and that was fast. Did the slurry just come out of there? <laughs> David, you're a genius. I love that, that's so cool. We'll go ahead and park these to the side. I wanna try a few other things. I'm gonna save that for last because that might be a mess. Let's try this first. So this is the birth out or the birth tube sprayer. Will we be able to load into this from this station? Uh, I think the answer is probably pretty easy to figure out. Yeah, herbicide and liquid fertilizer. Let's just throw in some liquid fertilizer. There's 4,200 liters literally in the snap of a finger. So there's that. But what about cotton? In FarmSim 19, we could buy cotton with a multi-filling station. Now, I did a little bit of testing with this before and i didn't test this so let's see how bad or good this turns out hopefully it turns out great if it'll take it we'll see what happens um doesn't look like we're gonna be able to buy cotton out of this so heads up no cotton from the buying whatever you want station at least not into a harvester. If you want to get a hold of it, all you got to do is go into build mode. Then you want to go into buildings, containers, and it's going to be found right here. It's only going to take up two slots if you guys are on console as well. Making its way back into farming simulator series, we have the Case H Autonomous from Universe Sim Modding. Oh, this is super cool. So again, no customization. You got Trello Borg tires on here. Nothing like that. You've got thin or you know twin narrow tires pretty close to each other wheel weights on those as well 450 horsepower nice variable transmission not even going to worry about that 675 liters of fuel 37 miles per hour so it's a little quicker 18.3 tons and it is only going to take up get this only eight slots if you guys are on console that is super super cool it's going to cost 300 grand but hey you won't pay a penny more. Here's a mod that we've already talked about today in Farm Sim News. Make sure you guys watch that if you haven't already. This is, oh yes, 
the front loader, the one and only, the Kramer. So excited about this, the KL30.8T. Uh, this is also from Universe Sim Modding. We've got a couple different versions of this. We have the fuel version, we have the electric version, and we have a biogas version as well. So you could use any of those that you want. You can see there the bottom 85 liters of fuel or 32 kilowatts or 80 kilograms. So that's how you're gonna get that. Customization is the same for all of these. Uh, 24 mile per hour max speed, 5.5 tons. They're all gonna be five slots. Let's take a look. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental Midas, BKT, Veradstein, and Nucky and Tires. And we can change up the main color from green to black yellow orange and finally gray and we also have a license plate as well i'm so happy that this is back how's about some big old silos for you guys so this is going to be the silo nurio multi-fruit pack so this takes up the uh nurio i'm not sure how you say that but uh yeah the that word from base game and makes it here so you've got your place where you can get it from you got your place where you dump it into you can see silo is empty and we've got all three versions here the only difference from these to the base game ones if we go down into silos uh the base game ones are right here so normal stuff through there and then over here uh prices are actually exactly the same it just says multi-fruit on them so it makes it easy to distinguish between these now they do hold a bunch but the ones in base game hold a bunch 2 million 6 million and 16 million liter capacity These things are absolutely massive they got some real life numbers on them and they are going to be five slots seven and seven respectively so the middle one and the large one are both seven little bitty one it's gonna only gonna be five slots these are multi so they hold uh everything at least as far as i could tell and your last new one for all platforms today for farming simulator 22 is gonna be the water hydrant this is a cheap water source it's gonna cost you a grand daily upkeep is five bucks per day you're gonna go into buildings you're gonna go into containers and it's going to be right here so there you go place that down however you like i do have a little testy boy right here so let's pull up to it and see what we can get i assume only water so this may not even give us an option to choose water and it doesn't it just starts filling it up uh slightly slow looks like it's taken about four or five seconds to fill up for a thousand liters so not quick but it's not bad plus it's only a hundred bucks for a thousand liters so that's pretty darn cheap for water. Making our way into new mods for Farm Sim 22 for PC and Mac players. First one is going to be our first Polish mod. It is here, ladies and gentlemen, the Polish Fertilizer Pallets. Now, this is going to be a 21,000 liter set of pallets for about four grand. It's going to hold, well, you guessed it, fertilizer next new mod for pc and mac players today is going to be manual attach this mod enforces the attach detach tools and trailers to be manual when attaching an implement script forces you to say it's lowered state there's all kinds of stuff to this i've never used it probably won't use it here either it is from lobster so you know it's gonna be good how do you make it happen well you attach it detach uh, the power takeoffs of the pto by using z in order to attach reattach keep in mind the tool needs a pto otherwise it cannot be turned on so you're gonna have to make that happen and you're also gonna hold z for a short amount of time in order to attach it detach connection hoses how cool is that it's awesome i'm not a fan but it's awesome next one is power tools that is right uh this is not f11 as f11 does that for some reason however if you hit f12 well, it brings this up it's yeah, pretty decent so toggle super strength for example i don't have it on right now oh i like at the top super strength enabled yes haha -ha! it's all mine oh uh, i think we broke the fourth wall there let's go back 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 <laughs> Let's hit F12 again. Turn it off. There we go. Disabled. Uh, what else do we have in here? Fly mode. So we say okie dokie. And now we can fly around instead of um, in a normal. We'll go back in here and we will deactivate that. Then we have, let's see, flight mode. Cool, cool, cool. Toggle the HUD. HUD's gone. You don't have to do the uh, console commands anymore if you want to make the HUD disappear. So that's pretty sweet. What else is in here? Add and remove money. Now, this is probably my favorite thing in the absolute world. Uh, to use a negative number, remove, so e.g. minus 5,000. So start with equals to reset the specific amount, e.g. equals one or zero dollars. So let's, I don't know. 
69,900 bucks. And it added it. Okay, so let's go back in and we will uh, add and remove money. Minus $5,128 and 63 also <clears throat> dollars. Uh, there we go. Cool. So it took away money. Now the other one was the equals. I'm not sure what this is. So start with equals. So we'll click equals to reset specific amount. EG equals $0. Equals $5. Oh, I only have $5 now. Well, that's not good. It took away $990 million. Could I, could I have my money back, please? Um, uh, let's see. Add. Nan, 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 nan. Bam. Got my money back. All right. Not enough nines. But you know what? $100 million will do. That's cool. Power tools, man. From Weasel. Weasel. By the way, you're the man. I love this. The next new one is going to be the placeable extended. And for some reason, my dude is flying. That's awesome. All right, let's go in here and let's find ourselves a building. That'll work perfectly fine. Now, here's the thing. Usually, you're not allowed to put two of these on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is put two of these on top of each other. Might do another one there. And, you know, let's just put another one here just for safekeeping. Uh, because obviously we don't want to overdo it, which we have done. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, not bad. Oh, I'm still flying for some reason. Let's, uh, let's remove that. So we got this. <laughs> I think this is why Giants told us not to do this. But, uh, well, there you go. Placeable extended. I love it. How's about a gameplay mode survival? That is right. We have a gameplay survival mode. Uh, here I thought that we would never see anything like this at Barb Zim, but it's here. This mod presents you with real challenges. You are on your own. Credit limit is set to zero dollars. Vehicles no longer can be rented in the store and in missions. You gotta do everything yourself and buy stuff. Compensation for the missions has been reduced. Sleeping is no longer possible. Uh, good luck. You're gonna be awake all the time. No AI helpers. New missions every 30 minutes, so that's nice. And more missions are available. How about a parked car? You can deactivate the tabbing of current vehicles with control and the letter T. As in KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken doesn't have the letter T in it. And multiplayer, the parking state is only set for yourself. The state is saved in single player and in multiplayer. How's about some additional currencies? Bring me all that money right there. So this mod allows new currencies not originally available in the game. So Brazilian uh, Real, you've got your Chinese... What? You know what? I'm not going to try and read any of these because I'm just going to do bad at it. So uh, it includes stuff. More stuff. All the best stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Next new one for PC Mac players today is the Implement Wear Info HUDs. A small HUD displaying the condition, damage, and pain condition of your currently controlled vehicle as it's attached in, but are also it's attached implements. Multiplayer sported, which is cool. The goal of this mod is to make it easier to keep an eye on the wear and the condition of your tools by not having to scroll through the own vehicles list every single time. So there you go. If this was something you were looking forward to, check it out. I've actually got a mod from a third party site that I'm using right now that does something similar to this for me, but also allows me to change gears. So uh, I won't be using this, but it is really neat. Next to last new one for PC and Mac players today is the Info Message HUD. So uh, there are those info messages within the F1 help menu. These show, for example, when you're within a trigger and can perform a given action, but also the messages which tell you that you've uh, got to fill and implement first. This message or the uh, mod shows these messages in the upper left hand corner when you're hiding the help menu so that you never miss an action and you don't have to show the help menu at all times. Normal messages are shown in white. If the message is related to an action, it's shown in yellow. That is really, really cool. Now, for me personally, uh, I'd play with the, the HUD off quite a bit, so I don't use anything like this, but this is going to be super, super helpful for those of you guys that need something like this, and it works great. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today for FS22 is the Better Time Scale. This adds additional time scales using the 7 and 8 keys, which are above like the U, the I, and the O keys. Um, this will increase or decrease as usual, but they've added some extra time scale values. 250, 500, 1000, 5000, 25,000 and 15,000. So it actually goes down there. So there you go. I'm thinking maybe that's 150,000 times, but it just forgot a zero. 
Anyway, this is a really sweet mod and allow you to fast forward time a little bit faster than you normally would. All right, making our way into a different game completely for Farm Sim 19. We've got one update for all platforms. That is going to be the Forest Red HLS 130.11 semi-trailer. Change dog version 1.1. The slurry taker has been added. So this will hold 10,000 liters of slurry and digest eight. 15 meter spread. So it is a spreader. You can see here we've got quite a few different colors for the main color. That's going to be your frame. And then, of course, rim colors are rim color. Hose connections, we have front and we have standard. And then we've also got wheel set up. A couple different wheels through there as well. Very, very cool. We do have one new mod for PC and Mac players. Today's going to be the Maz 6312B3 truck tanker. 420 horsepower, nice 500 liters of fuel. 49 mile per hour max speed holds 15,000 liters of water and milk very cool there bumper color well we'll just change that up to yellow for the fun of it main color orange because why not and disc color i'm assuming this is rims oh uh, yeah i don't know what that's changing maybe it's changing the front grill no clue all right well let's move on uh rim we have low roof high roof one high roof two and back to a low roof visor we have without visor headlight which is not changing anything. Yep, don't see anything changing there. Uh, back and forth between those license plate, you can throw a license plate on there if you want to. Um, logo Co. So you can throw a different uh, thing right there. Discs, yes, no. Okay, so that's covering up the, the wheel. That's what that is. And then we've got a few different engine options on here. 350 or 420 horsepower. And your last mod today, an update to Headland Management. This is going to be version 1.2. Added rear trigger for Headland Automatic. Fix the Lua error when using the ridge marker switching on some DLC implements. Nope, these implements cannot be switched by this mod because they are not addressable by scripts. Also, they've changed the GUI layout to work better on high resolutions. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video, Farm Sim 22 and Farm Sim 19. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I did have a Let's Play scheduled for later today, but we had a lot of news and a lot of mods, so I'm probably going to hold that one off till tomorrow. So stay tuned. We'll have another Let's Play tomorrow. I'll be said. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.